So I've been using the Xiaomi Hyper OS for a while now and yes guys it is similar to Mi UI but with a new base and framework plus lots of lock screen customization option and they fixed all the issues we had in Mi UI. So my initial thoughts on this software, Hyper OS stands out as the best OS slash skin on a phone right now. So starting things with the lock screen, it's a combination of iOS 17 plus Pixel UI plus One UI 6 and nothing OS. Like the step effect which surprisingly works better than iOS 17. You guys can change the background of wallpaper or even add some glass filter effect to the wallpaper itself and there are tons and tons of clock styles to pick from. There are small clocks, there are small horizontal clocks, vertical clocks, this huge clock, you can style the font. So again it's like Xiaomi just made the best lock screen of all time. They surely took inspiration from iOS, Pixel UI and One UI and they packed it all into a skin which is right here the HyperOS lock screen. Now just like iOS, HyperOS is limited to 10 lock screen at once. So you'll need to delete one in order to make a new one after reaching the 10 max limit. These are some of my lock screens and you guys can see they all have different wall, style, clock, color, font and whatnot. The best part about Hyper OS is this always a matching always on display clock style and transition for each lock screen clock design. So this is something I like a lot and there is no need to change always on display style from the settings. You can if you want but when you set the lock screen Hyper OS is gonna set a matching clock style with smooth transition in the always on display something you are going to love. The home screen is same as what we had in Mi UI, same icon, same settings, same interactive widget which I like a lot but the control center is quite similar to iOS 17 now cause we have some new changes in the layout. So just like Apple Home, this Mi Smart Hub control and in Mi UI they were swipe left and right to access more controls but in Hyper OS it's like scroll up and down similar to the iOS 17. So now I'll show you some apps and their UI along with the opening and closing animation which is very smooth and flawless. So we have dialer and the opening and closing animation is the smoothest I've seen in any phone right now. This is what I call flawless. Then we have message, camera and there are some new settings and UI changes in the camera application. Security which is tied in this one cause it is hard to install third party applications. You have to insert sim card in order to like allow access or any app to install third party application. And then you guys cannot unlock bootloader as of now of the Xiaomi 14 Pro. The weather application has new UI and animation. Gallery. There is now an option to select foreground and then you can change the background or save it as a PNG or send it as a stick or something. The video player play pause button are at the same place which was not the case in Mi UI. So thank you Xiaomi for that cause I was angry about this issue on Twitter and the frame lag is now gone too. Settings and this is the all new Hyper OS about phone section and the current Hyper OS version is 1.0.x for Xiaomi 14 Pro which is like the first build and I hope this will keep getting better and better as the time pass. So now I'll show you every single settings and there are some new infographics, all new wallpaper and customization settings where you can change in the lock screen or always on display even the fingerprint animation can be changed.
slight change in the font and yeah that's pretty much it. Xiaomi Hyper OS is coming to Chinese devices starting this month's end and global devices starting next year. The animations are very smooth and it is stable plus the battery life is decent as well. You guys can check my battery life test on the Xiaomi 14 Pro. It is better than what we had in MIUI devices. So this all guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe and peace out.